is Scottish Guns here once again and welcome to a very different video for you guys and this is the 2014-2015 Barclays Premier League season review from me, myself and uh, before we go on, um, let's just see right here what it focuses uh, there's the guy that made my banner on my YouTube channel um, there you go and uh, <laughs> it's called FIFA Fly and then it's like NNY at the end so FIFA Fly in, in, in your heaven I don't know how to say it but he is very very decent at uh, doing banners and maybe even intros as well for your channel so just check him out and just, I'll put them in the description and yeah so we'll go straight into the video guys this has been my first video in about maybe two weeks um, the edit thing has been very it's just been playing up so much it's ridiculous and yeah so hope this acts like a like this video is just not gonna have any cuts in it so I don't have to make any cuts and I might just put some music in the back of the end of this and that's it so yeah that might be even out tonight and yeah this was, this was the final day of the season and we'll get straight into it so yeah we'll go and start off um, with the table here and yeah first off we have got Chelsea and yeah they've been sick they've been actually amazing Jose Mourinho's done a very good job with them. You know, the star players, Hazard, you know, Diego Costa's been a really good signing. And he's a bit dirty. I don't know about uh, I just I think I'm a bit, like, weird with him. But yeah, uh, who else is on? Obviously, Terry and Cahill's been very consistent. And Courtois's been a really good signing as well. And that's the reason why they won the league, really. They've just been doing really good football. And yeah, that is, I don't know how long this video's going to be. Maybe five minutes, maybe even fucking 20, you never know. But yeah, um, so that's Chelsea guys, and they've been just been really good, and that's why they won the league. Uh, next up, we've got Manchester City. Um, obviously, they started really well, and maybe the last few months, they haven't been too good. Um, not living up to the expectations anyway. Like I said, Aguero and got injured midway through the season, I think. And lots like just, just David Silva, Yaya Touré not producing the performances that they can expect of them. Um, you know, it's just it's been alright, I guess. But they're second now in the league, 79 points, and they've not they've been pretty decent, I guess. Obviously, they've been second. I mean, honestly, that is pretty decent. But they should be winning the league with the amount of money they've spent on players like Aguero, Yaya Touré, all them players, and they still can't win the league. I know they won it last year, but. I just can't see that, I don't know why the board didn't win the league. Um, obviously star performers, company, you know, Joe Hart's been not too bad I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, he's been alright, but I think he got, did he get injured as well? I can't mind. But yeah, he was, he's been alright this year, but you know, not the best. Uh, David Silva has been playmaker obviously. I don't know why, but James Milner's been getting in the team quite a lot. I don't know why, because I really don't rate him, <laughs> honestly, I think he's really quite overrated. And I just really like them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to the 13 guys, and that's Arsenal. Now, yeah, they've been pretty decent as well. Uh, they've got the likes of Ozil, you know, Ramsey, um, Oxley Chamberlain getting to the team a wee bit, and obviously Sanchez, the big signing, of pretty much of the Premier League last summer. Um, he's been pretty good, I guess, and he's been slowing up a wee bit. You know, the last few months he's been kind of not getting as much goals. But still, he's been a very worthy signing, and just that's why they're third, really. Him and quite a lot of players. I think they need to get a striker next season because obviously Giroud, Welbeck, you know, it doesn't really cut it. They're not world class, are they? So yeah, I think they should get somebody in that is very decent and just not average like Welbeck. And that. I just uh, I don't really rate them. And Giroud, I think everyone hates Giroud, really. Even if you're an Arsenal supporter, you don't really like Giroud. Uh, KSI doesn't like him, obviously, as you've probably seen. <laughs> and um, yeah, they've been pretty decent. So obviously, Koshy only has got maybe even might even get a team of the season and uh, on FIFA. And we also been good. Gibbs has been alright, and just just the team has been very good. Um, Chesney has not been getting a game. His goalkeeper's been a spinner, and yeah, the two average goalkeepers. But you know, they're just not. I think it was David Seaman that was Arsenal. I think, I think so. That was kind of naughty's kind of early like 2000s, really. He was really good for them. Obviously, they were unbeaten in the 20 was it 2000, 2001 or something like that season, and they were really, really good in that body game. But they Thierry on me and all that. Oh, so he was really good. Yeah, focusing on this season, guys. They've been really, really decent. Now here is the kind of main talking boy, 
it is Manchester United. Now, yeah, they've been alright, you know, leaving now has just done really well. I, I, I personally didn't like David Moyes, I think he was just not fit for the job. I think he was just a really, I think he was a top class manager at all. Um, obviously when he joined, he actually bought Fellaini, and I, I don't rate Fellaini whatsoever. But he's been doing alright, I guess, the last few games have been actually pretty decent. Um, you know, he's been scoring a few goals, so he's got important goals as well actually. And he's been looking all right, I guess. Um, just the defence, that is the problem with Man United right now. They spent so money. Oh, so I don't phone. Uh, they spent so much money on that Di Maria. He was like 60 million or something. Uh, they loaned Falcao. They got Andrew Herrera and Blind and Shaw and just loads of players. It's ridiculous. But yeah, just the defence is what. It's just ridiculous. A defence. Just average, average players like Jones, Smallin, uh, who else is there? Uh, Rafael, don't you see? Rafael still there? I'm not too sure. But yeah, they've been playing Valencia right back. Now, I think he's a right mid, to be fair. Obviously, he's got the pace to go right down the wing. But yeah, I just don't think that. I just think they're really, really average players. And honestly, it is ridiculous. I just. They need to get a world class centre back, at least. Bloody hummels or something like the brushes on. Seriously, guys, you really need to get just stop just focusing on attack and really focus on defence and actually stop conceding goals. That's why they're fourth this year, I think, because the defence wasn't too good and the performances that Man United put in were just really bad sometimes. Because they got fourth and hopefully they will be a Champions League ne well, next season, I guess. Uh, so, fifth. I'll try to speed it up here. In fifth, uh, Tottenham, they've been doing alright, I guess, as well. Obviously, they've got fifth, and that's Europa League qualification. Uh, and that's that's what we're aiming for, really. I think they're aiming for the kind of Champions League, but that's just not going to happen with that team. You know, the star players like Ericsson, uh, obviously, Harry Kane, he's been absolutely insane this season. Just broke through the bloody reserves and just bang, hitting in the goals. I don't know how much he got this season. I think he got maybe 18 or something this season, which is really good. Um, they, they've just been average, they've been alright I guess, but sometimes they're just lacking uh, defending maybe. I know they've got like Vertonghen and that, but uh, I don't know, really you know, I don't really rate them for them. So, I, I think they're alright I guess, but you know. Um, Southampton, there you go! Uh, is it Southampton? No, it's Liverpool, sorry. Liverpool, uh, next. Liverpool. This, today, literally. Was it 5 0? 5 0 Stoke, I think. 5 or 6 0 Stoke. That was insane. I have no idea where that just came to. And that's why I, I think that's why they're sick, to be honest. Honestly, they're, we're not consistent at all. Balotelli was the flop of the season, really. I, didn't he get like two goals or something? Three goals? It was ridiculous. He didn't score for like maybe eight months or something. It's ridiculous. Um, but they also got, obviously, they lost Suarez, which is a bit of a big. Like you know, impact on the plane, and it was just really bad to be fair. Honestly, on they just had storage in Balotelli and maybe Sterling, but honestly, I don't rate Sterling. You know, I think he's not good. Um, honestly, guys, I just don't like Liverpool for that off the date. Wolverine as well was kind of pretty bad as well. Uh, obviously got Skirtle and that at the back, but I just don't rate them at all. So that's like shit. And now we come to Southampton, and I can inside and out what the team is, obviously. And yeah, I think they've done really well. Like seriously, I think they were in League One maybe three years ago. Now they're in Premier League really and getting seventh in the league, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully they can get that better than that in my major career. Uh, I'll try and do that hopefully soon. I'm trying to get Sony Vegas Pro so I can actually do some editing, like really good editing. So yeah. Um, but anyways, back to Southampton, I know they've been really decent, they've got like a Pella, which is a good sign, uh, Tadic was a really good sign as well, Elia, bring these players in, it's just really helped them, well, so the pace in, this, in the team is really good, uh, Wanyama is very solid as well, uh, likes of Josie Fonte, honestly, I think it's really good, uh, Klein has been, obviously, he's been one of the best right backs in Body Premier League, you know, uh, obviously got a team of the season, most consistent, I think, it was it like three days ago it came out or something on FIFA, and it's just, it's some card, after the it's some card. Uh, left back Bertrand, you know, he's just been, he plays every game, he literally plays every game. Maybe Target comes in, maybe every so often, but that's it, literally. And he's just been very consistent as well. And the goalkeeper, four star, came from Celtic, uh, he was really, he's just really good as well. 
So yeah, that's right, they're struggling I think. So yeah, next up is Swansea guys. Um they came eighth with 36 points, which is pretty decent as well. Uh yeah, the loss of Boney kinda halfway through the season kinda brought their place down a wee bit. Um but I think it's a really relatively good play place because it's Swansea, you know, like, you wouldn't really wait so long to be up in the top ten to be honest. But yeah, I'm not gonna say much about these clubs because they're really average, like Stoke maybe. You know, I can't really bother saying much about them, to be honest. Uh, Stoke Crystal Palace, Everton has been very bad this year. Uh, I just, I don't know what's happened to them, to be honest. Um, they were like 7th last year, now they're 11th, eh? and it's just, they had a really bad season. Like, Lukaku wasn't up to scratch, uh, Barkley was just getting injured, and there's quite a few injured players at the heart. Uh, tried to buy in Lennon from Tottenham, but I don't think he did very much either. Um, what else have got? They have got Jaggy Elka, which is getting on a wee bit, he's like 33 or something. So they really need some good signings next summer, I think, um, to really get up there with the likes of Southampton, you know, Liverpool and that. So yeah, that's kind of what I say about them. West Ham, you know, they've been pretty decent. They've got the likes of Enna Valencia up front, Sacco, you know, they've been really quite good as well. I've got Nolan, and a few other players, really. Reed has been pretty consistent as well. And who else have we got here? We've got West Brom, you know, I'm not going to say much about them because they're just average. Uh, Leicester, Leicester, they've been the pretty big surprise of the season. They were second bottom literally two months ago, and now they're 14th in the league, which honestly, they, they was like a great escape by Sunderland last year. <laughs> literally. Oh, they've been really good. Honestly, the football they've played, Vardy's been really good this year. Um, scoring all the goals, really. To be honest, everyone else just been falling up behind them, and he's just like banging them all in. And it's really good for them. Uh, who else we got? We've got Newcastle. They were very close to getting really relegated today. Um, but Hull, obviously, they were against Man United, and you know, it was 0 0. But um, it was very, you know, it was, it was not going to happen, really. I think Newcastle got out of there quite, you know, sufficiently. Um, I think they were three point, uh, four points above the relegation zone, which is pretty bad for Newcastle. I mean, come on. They're a really good and decent team, I have to admit. But obviously, I support Sunderland, so I'm not going to say much about Newcastle. <laughs> Anyways, Sunderland for next 16. And yeah, they've been very. Oh, I don't know why, right? This is just be slightly further up the table. Maybe 13th, maybe. And you know, it's just very bad, to be honest. It's just. We're scraping it every season. Honestly, relegation is our battle every single season now. And it's just getting a bit ridiculous, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the likes of Fletcher, the foe's been quite a good sign, I have to admit. I remember that volley against Newcastle, my dad was actually there on that game, I wasn't there, but he, he saw it and he said it was amazing. He his left foot 25 yards out, smashed it, and it was oh, such a good goal. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes been alright, I guess. Brown at the back is absolutely shocking. There's two ex Man United defenders right at the back, O'Shea and Brown, right? And they're just shocking. Like, they just do not keep up with the play whatsoever. I mean, I've seen John O'Shea the day, like, you can see the penalty, you know, it's just, I can't bother. And they actually got a draw. Was that a draw? I think they actually lost to Chelsea today. Uh, it was actually 1 1 for quite a long time, and then they scored, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those have been up the table quite a lot if they got a draw today. They've been like, up, they've been 15, so. He's been pretty decent. Aston Villa has been a very short, big shocker, honestly. Ben Teke, I think he's been injured quite a lot as well. Um, you know, it's just been pretty bad. Seriously, it's been very, very bad. Um, I can't really say much about them. They've just been really bad, seriously. They, they, they just didn't get the goals at all um, under Paul Lambert. But who's it now? I can't remember who it is. It's his face day. I can't remember who it's called. He was Tottenham manager. I can't remember who it's called anymore. Uh, but yeah, he's kind of made a bit of a difference to them, but honestly, they need to just step their game up. Seriously, they've just been very bad. And yeah, we come to the teams that have been relegated this season, and that's Hull, Burnley, and QPR. Now, yeah, I'm just going to say all three teams are now. So Hull, you know, Steve Bruce is very. I had a. Had a they're uh, real tall, really, and I don't think they have any star players. I, I, who is the star player at, at, at Hull? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe Huddleston, that's about it. I have no idea. 
But yeah, I just don't wait really long. Like, but just, alright, that's the reason I got really good really easy because it's 35 points out of 30 games, which is just shocking, that's right? so, all. Anyway, I'll go Burnley next. I'm actually quite surprised they've gone really good this season. Uh, I like Ings today, I like Ings this season. I think he's really decent. I think he's really decent player. Really 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 um, but obviously that's not a knock. You, you can't only have just one pure person scoring all the goals. And that comes to me, that just, that's just really good. And you know, QPR as well, Charlie Austin, you know, it's just, uh, Charlie Austin scored a bit more, it's 17 goals this season. And nobody else was scoring any, like it was just him scoring, and that was it. There was no one else that was scoring, and that's where they got, that's where they're 20 hit, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, so it was just Charlie Austin goals, and this this just, just, just two goals. Minus 31 on the goal record, which is very bad. But yeah, that is it for this Edward Connect video, guys, of the review of the people's season. Um, so the play so actually, the teams that are coming up are Bournemouth, Watford, and Norwich or Middlesbrough, because Nor Norwich and Middlesbrough are playing tomorrow, I think, um, to see if they can go through. I think, I think Norwich will s I just didn't make it. But yeah, that was really close. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, let's focus in. There you go. There's the, there's the t table for the championship. So yeah, that was really close. I was also in the points are on the right hand side there, or the left hand side compared to like what side you're actually looking at. But yeah, that is really interesting, I have to think. And you know, Watford and Bournemouth, like seriously, I cannot imagine them in the Premier League. Like, obviously, Bournemouth has just had such a good season, it's ridiculous. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you want any more like kind of videos like this, like I don't know, even player reviews, like a single player for like the whole season, just let me know in the comments below. I will try and do it. Um, obviously, I'll do like you know, maybe like a transfer thing this summer, hopefully, maybe. Go on that comment below and yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you all later.